and welcome to another episode in this episode we are covering timers video for pointers is not ready yet and here like in previous episode we are using a little bit of pointers for get owner but there are many great re resources on google and youtube so just do a little research on google and youtube and you can learn a lot so what is a timer well a timer schedules an action that will be that will be performed after a time delay to set timers we need struct that's called f timer handle and basically f timer handle is used so we can distinguish uh, different timers that have same delegate and delegate is something that allows you to call functions inside your class so if you have two different timers that are doing the same thing with f timer handle you can distinguish them and timers are managed in timer manager basically every world in unreal has its own timer manager and by using get world timer manager you can get that timer manager and then you can use two functions that is set timer and set timer for next tick in this video we are going to use set timer let's go to unreal so how can we use timer what is the demonstration let's say i want this cube to move like this every two seconds so when I hit play button this cube will stand here for two seconds and then after two seconds it will move like this and then it will wait two seconds like this and then move like this so how do I do that well by using timers so let's add a component to this cube so we can install some timers so a new C++ component actor component and because we are moving this moving this cube let's call this component move oops move move somewhere and create class and here we are in move somewhere.cpp and like in previous episodes i will pass this include so we can use so we can use methods for actor and yeah so I said that I want to move this cube somewhere, so let's actually... First of all, let me explain what I actually want to do here. So, I want to move this somewhere. Let's say I want to increase X. Let's say every two seconds I want to increase X coordinate. And for that, I will use a function, a method. By using timers, I will call that method every two seconds. So let's actually first create that method. Let's say private here. And method can be called move somewhere. All right. Let's create create definition here. And this is going to be pretty simple. We did this in previous episodes. So we need to just change location of this actor. So I'm using a vector new location equals to. We have to get owner and get actor location. Now let's increase x coordinate. Let's say for 100. And now we need to change location of an actor. So set actor location and we pass in new location. Now let's create f timer handle that I talked about. So you type f timer handle and name of your handle. Let's call this handle move somewhere handle. And now we want to set a timer so we need to set timer only once and we want that action to loop every two seconds so we will do that in begin play because we need to set timer only once so first of all we say get owner get world timer manager and then as we can use two functions one is set timer for tick and other is set timer we are using set timer for now and first parameter that we are passing is our handle which is move in this case move some second parameter is this this object third parameter is a method that we are calling so this one and it's actually an address of that method so we put this sign here I don't even know how this sign is called and basically uh, if we click to set timer and go to definition you can see all different constructors that you can use so you can play with that a little bit all right 
Now, fourth fun fourth parameter is a time delay. So if we say if I type here five dot f, that means five seconds. But let's actually do two seconds. And the last parameter that we're going to use is is this going to loop or it is going to happen only once. We want this to loop, of course. So true. And that's basically it. So let's run this and see if it works. And here we are. Move somewhere component is attached to this cube and and when I hit play button this cube should move after two seconds time delay and let's see and yeah as you can see it moves and then two seconds pause and then it moves again so that is one demonstration of timer now for exercise Try to move cube up and down. For example, it goes up and then it pauses here for two seconds and then it goes down. That's it for timers. Have a great day and goodbye.